just finished this figure drawing last Saturday. This is my last figure drawing at the Ravenswood Atelier. I feel like everything that I've learned over the course of the last two years really clicked and came together with this drawing, so I'm pretty happy with it. We only spent five weeks on these long pose figure drawings, so time is always an issue. I would say that my least favorite part of every charcoal figure drawing is working on the background. I hate working on the background. And it, like backgrounds like these really do just help reinforce that real sense of light that you're going for to hit the figure. So I get it. But it's just so time consuming and you only have five weeks and you really want to focus all of that on the figure, not on the background. Out of all my other figure drawings, I haven't done this before, but for this one, I use a special tool to do the background. And I feel like this tool has a lot of negative connotations in the art community, but this is the tool that I used. And I feel like when people really don't like stumps and why this is like claim the amateur tool is because when people use these, um, it's really, really easy to get things looking really blurry and dirty and you really don't want that. And that's not the effect that I was going for. I was going for this like smooth atmospheric effect. So I would lay down charcoal really fast and then I took my stump and rubbed it into the paper and it really got the charcoal into all the grooves. And then on top of that, since I already had a buildup of charcoal, I did a layer of the nice thin lines with my charcoals that is sharpened into razor blades. And I went all over it again. So it still has this atmospheric effect, but it still has like the hand of charcoal being laid down on top of it. And I focused it, I guess, mostly around the focal points because I wanted um, the part where everything's pushed in and there's no texture to the paper or um, any charcoal lines are really to a minute minimum because of the stump to make it look like there is air around the figure. In my free time, I have been working on these Russian master copies. The Russian drawings are really great at describing structure with line. So in my other figure drawings, I felt like I really lacked a really good solid outline. So doing these Russian copies really helped to reinforce how to do that with overlapping lines to express overlapping form and just to really get a really strong established structure. This is an example of one of the Russian master copies that I'm working on. I'm almost finished with it. I have the lower legs and the arms to mess around with, but I'm pretty close to being finished on this one. And for my last figure drawing, I took a photo at the end of each session. And I don't think I have the photos from the first week, but I have from the middle to the end, so I'll go ahead and show you that. Thank you.